What's up everyone, I'm Kay here, bringing you another video. Um, another video on the Mark II here, on the Jetta, the old nitrous Jetta. Um, and uh, in this video, you'll see us chipping away. Hopefully you'll see us at the end of this video get, uh, get it running again. Um, but in the video, you'll see us knock out a couple things. Um, and uh, yeah, stay tuned. Stay tuned for that. Stay tuned for the end of the video. Hopefully we'll hear this thing crank up. But for those who are new and who are curious as to what this thing is, this is an 89 Volkswagen Jetta with a eight valve, which is a single cam ABA from a Mark III in it. Uh, we got a ported and polished Mark IV intake here, but it is a, an ABA. Um, it's a built head, got valves in it, upgraded valves, 298 cam in it, uh, got a cam gear, full pulleys on it, full lightweight pulleys. Um, got the nitrous plate here, you know, obviously going to be running 100 shot. Got the long tube headers from Tectonics in there. It's also O2J swapped. I'll show that over there in just a second. Oh, this is a mess. We've been working on it, so don't worry. Got that nitrous bottle right here. This is an old school R now Megan Racing, I guess. Uh, makes the same kind of shifter, but this is an OBX uh, weighted shift knob out of a Mark IV. But uh, like I said, it is O2J swapped for those still tuned in. You can see that we got an O2J in there. It's cable, cable driven. Yep. Nothing too crazy. We got a whole lot of work to do. We got a whole lot of safety to do too. I'm gonna show the trunk. It's got a, a fuel cell in it. Nothing too crazy. Um, but that's pretty much what we got going on here. It is the nitrous Jetta, but my plan is to do a rear mount setup turbo on it. Just because I don't really like the space and the, uh, you know, the turbo manifolds that really come on these things. And I want to be a little bit different, you know, so that's my plan. Stick around to see us get to that point. Stay to the end of the video to see if we get this thing running. Stay tuned for them time lapse. I appreciate y'all now. Like, share, subscribe. Cheers. All right. Let's see if we can uh get some power to it. Well, battery completely dead, so no. All right, we'll try her again. So this is part of our uh, jumper harness um, setup, and uh, we got that from Sal uh, from SMP. Um, as you saw, we were trying to whirl it over. Um, we have these fuses in here. This one's good. This one I pulled out. If you can see that there, 
she's blown. So, we'll have to replace that there fuse. I ain't getting no fuel, I believe. So, makes sense. We get a 30 amp fuse, I think that is. 30 amp, sure is, and then uh, we'll go from there. Recharge my jump box, I, I just killed it. And uh, hopefully come back and get her running. I'm not entirely sure which fitting's loose or which one's leaking, but I think we got a fuel leak right here. We're about to find out on this video. Well, that'll do it. I'm gonna have to make a new fuel line. For sure. Problem after problem, but that's the name of the game, y'all. Name of the game. We'll have to get that made and try it again. Cheers. We got her running, y'all. She back running. Now to fix the little stuff. We got a fuel leak coming out the fuel filter back there. We got to fix that. Ooh, you can tell she ain't ran in a minute. I'm going to smoke her out, y'all. Good stuff, good stuff. Oh, my, I'm shaking. The nerves just got me shaking. Film a little outro here. Uh, obviously I didn't leave it running long in the, the little first startup video right there, but, uh, it's running. It's running. I don't have no one here with me right now, so, uh, I wanted to check and make sure my injectors or fuel line won't leak in. Um, but like I mentioned earlier, I do got a fuel leak coming out of the fuel filter here. Right there. Um. I had to figure out why it's leaking. It's coming out the nipple, so figure out why it's doing that. And uh, that's probably the next thing on the list. I don't know if I'll have to replace the whole line or not, but we'll see. We'll definitely see. Um, thank y'all for 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 checking in. I appreciate it.